Hi, my name is Greg Anderson. I'm the owner of uh, Mother Rhythm Drums and Freedom Drums. And I'm here today to demonstrate to you how to reskin a ruptured djembe drum shell. So this knot right here is a hangman's knot. And as the rope goes up and down all the way around, it comes back through the hangman's knot, and that serves as a grip to prevent it from backing out. Now to get this out of here, sometimes the knot's not that tight. You can just back it all the way out. Nice windy day down here in Florida. I do see that. Yeah. I'm pull the old skin off. So now I'm going to skin it. Okay, I got a wet skin here. It's been soaking for a few hours. Basically, going to fold it over. So right on the edge, I'm going to cut a teeny little slit. Then I'm going to come across 180, and I'm going to do the same on this side. Then I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to match those two slips that I just cut up on top of each other. And now I'm going to cut this right on the edge. I'm going to do the same over here. Alright. And so now I'm going to go, there's a slit here and there's one here. And I'm going to fold them over until they're on top of each other there. I'm basically cutting eight slits around the perimeter of the skin right on the edge and I will show you the importance of this in a minute. Fatty deposits. It's this side down. Now you put your ring on top and you center it. Perfect. People don't do this, some people will actually, you know, do it by hand, but I find it's a battle doing it that way. What do you mean doing it by hand? So, you know, they'll form the skin on the rings by hand oh. and then put the top ring on top. Oh, I see. And it's, it's just, this holds it in place, it makes it a lot easier when you start pulling your rope through. Yeah. It's like having four sets of arms. Now, on a windy day like this, the skin will start drying out immediately. Oh, so really? You pull it so out you, of the water. All right. So you got to move fast. And a lot of times, what I do is take a little bottle of water, just pour a little bit on top, keep it moist, and keep it dry it off. Okay. That's not supposed to be holy water. Now I'm going to take the bro. Start moving it through. I'm going to hit the halfway point right there. This is that knot that I previously put in the rope. I have this habit of always standing on the rope. So you can see. I came down through here, now I'm going to come back up to this one here, and this one here. 
around this one and I'm going to come back to the same one that I came up through. I'm going to go back down through it the other way. Okay, I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah. See? Yeah, this one's like this and then this one's going to go back up through this one. You're going to do that again. Yeah. So basically where there's each, where there's a loop, yeah. the rope's going to run through it twice. So there's a real cool loop. See how that rope runs through that loop twice. So this is an important knot right here. Why? This is a hangman's knot. Mm -hmm. Why do you pull the tighter that's going to get? Right? Now when I come all the way around and take this end of the rope, you can see this and pull it down, it's going to grip it. I see. So it won't back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's very important if you're going to hang somebody that they don't fall out of that. <laughs> sure that knot's close to there. I'm going to just kind of pull the slack out of these runners here. I don't want to pull too tight at once because then you get a leaning head. It's an in incremental process, a little bit by a little bit going around. So in terms of the rope, does it come from everywhere, or is it typically people get this rope from one or two places? Um, no. there's a lot of yeah. You, you ever hear of REI sure. outdoor sure. stores? Sure. They got a lot of really okay. good, uh, good rope. Uh, this seems like mine. Now, now, now I'm starting to look at how the bearing edge is yeah. coming down. Yeah. As I pull on it, yeah. and I can see that I'm high on this end. I'm way up on this end, so I really gotta start wrenching down hard on this side, even it out. I've been through this once with this one. As I said, you gotta go around and you gotta start looking at the bearing edge to find out where you're high and where you're low. And then you gotta pull your skin through nice and tight.
this is an important this is an important tool. He's got a sweat sock here. Sock. Yeah. Basically you wrap it around the neck. I'll explain why. You don't want to pull too much from the start either because when as it starts drying, yeah, the skin's gonna gonna shrink a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. So just in the process of drying, it's gonna tighten up. The tone will come up. But after it's fully dry, then you come back around no, and do we're this let again. Let it dry for probably about I don't know, maybe an hour. Then I'll come back through and I'll, I'll shave this excess off. Yeah, that and was then the let it fully dry okay. and then come around and hit it again. And once you hit it again, you know, and then you can subsequently put a tune on it. You can get a weave on it, get some diamonds in it. So, so there you be. All you got to do is let it dry. We trimming the skin down now. Skin was barely big enough, you know. And how? <laughs> what was the diameter of that? This skin was 17 inches. Wow! In diameter. Yeah. Wow! So it was a little bigger there than it is. There is a piece that's off. So. Mm -hmm. well, like I said, it's still got to, you know, it's got to dry some more. And as it dries, that pitch will come up. And once it's completely dry, then you know, I can either hit it with this to tune it. Or you can put a molly weave on it. So, do you know how to do the molly weave? Two, one, one, two. Some people do it different. Some mm -hmm. people will go over as to where other people will go under. My friend Morgan from Morgan Drums, he likes to go over. I'll show you how to do it over. He says it prevents snapback. You know, when you cross the verticals over one another, he'll go, he'll go over these two, back under and up through and pull. I go this way, I go under these two. You see? Yeah. You see where that makes a loop like that? Yeah. You want to bring this rope under each one of those two, and then you want to come back through those two. See how it is? Yeah. Under those two, over right. the one, under the one. And then when you pull, it crosses them over. Huh. Okay. In the process of that crossing over, it's creating more tension down in the head. And then if you go to the next one, and then all over the But you're saying it doesn't make sense to do it until it's completely dry? Right. You know, I'm just showing you for, for the sake of showing you right now. Okay. And then going to the next one. Now that I've taught you how to reskin a jambe drum, perhaps you may find it's a little bit too much of a cumbersome task to perform on your own. If that's how you feel about it, we can most certainly reskin a drum for you. We offer those services. Just go to motherrhythm.com and put in a request and we'll get back to you.